Is Lindsay Lohan okay, by the way? Has she gotten back into rehab? Do we know, Tomas? I don't know for sure. Uh, sort of hard. I know uh, she's about a couple of million dollars richer. Due to? Her Playboy appearance. Oh, yeah. Was that the, is that the most recent edition of Playboy? Uh, about a month back, I believe. There you go. We're going to hear from Charlie Sheen on the show today. Ellen DeGeneres, Jay Leno is here. Jimmy Fallon and uh, Conan O'Brien will have some comments here on the show as well. Um, we're going to get into the X Factor as well. First, though, this is a story, a holdover from our, our morning show. You know, we do the What's Cooking program with Paul Stern. Uh, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific Time, 11 a.m. Eastern. And apparently this uh, chef, Ann Thornton, uh, apparently uh, has been plagiarizing Martha Stewart recipes. According to our report, uh, This uh, she's known as the dessert diva, uh, Ann Thornton, and uh, she lost her deal with the Food Network, and I guess she had a sweet one, when the Food Network uh, top brass there discovered some of her decadent delights apparently were reheats of uh, from cookbooks from super chefs like uh, Martha Stewart and the Barefoot Contessa and others. Now there was a show. Have you ever watched a show on uh, on the Food Network? It's called Dessert First, and it was launched back in uh, October of 2010. And uh, they apparently uh, Ann Thornton hosts that, and she was told that the show would not be renewed when its second season ended, and the network uh, was very concerned. Uh, when they launched the show, because many of the recipes were close with only a few minor edits to other chefs' recipes. That's what I'd do if I were on the Food Network. Mm. I might do something like that. <laughs> like that I one don't... story you told about uh, some Valentine Day dinner that you bought uh, uh, home and then uh, you uh, dumped it into... It was just uh, my good friend Chef Piero had a wonderful Italian restaurant yeah. and uh, made some incredible angel hair pasta. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was able to go uh, pick up the angel hair pasta in a styrofoam container and bring a couple orders home, place it on the uh, table, you know, kind of heat some stuff up on the stove so it looked right. like something was there. And I'm telling you, you talk about having a romantic dinner at home. That was great. And oh boy, everybody was it's just... It's just oh. This was something great that I had slaved over the stove for. Yeah, I see. I made something. I was. I don't know. I heated some water or something like that. I but had you a had a terrific things. memory of that night, right? It was very nice. Yeah, it was very good. good. Angel yeah. pasta mm -hmm. is an aphrodisiac as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you of another thing that uh, What's that, tasty. Tomas? Ladies and gentlemen, Tomas here. Uh, is. Yes, uh, as opposed to the great Paul Stern mornings. Basically, uh, there's a... A little place that uh, sells uh, ravioli, uh, sort of uh, either lobster or lobster shrimp ravioli. Lobster shrimp or lobster ravioli. And mm. so what, do you pick up that good? Oh, yeah. You bring that home to the little woman sometimes? I don't have a little woman. I bring home myself. Bring it home to the big woman? No, I bring it home to myself. Oh, okay. Bring it home to the, the big self, if you know what I mean, That's ladies right. and gentlemen. Okay, now, listen, apparently this Ann Thornton got into trouble. Uh, and eyebrows were raised when the frosting for Ann Thornton's German chocolate cupcakes was a, a mere replica of Martha Stewart's 2009 coconut pecan frosting recipe. It was a give or take a handful of pecans and maybe a dollop of butter. It was that was how close it was. Mm, not yeah. good. So and then the uh, apparently Ann Thornton's luscious lemon squares were very similar to a 1999 recipe from uh, Ina Garten, also known as the Barefoot uh, Contessa. Very, very similar. What are you going to do? So uh, the wording on the cooking instructions was also very similar. There was also a recipe that uh, Thornton cooked up for a mascarpone stuffed French toast, and it closely mimicked one that was published in uh, a cookbook in 2006, The Essence of Chocolate. And it was a side-by-side -side comparison of those two recipes. When they looked at it, showed that uh, Ann, Chef Ann Thornton added orange zest to the mix and topped hers with strawberry rather than maple syrup. Otherwise, it was the same. What people won't do for money. It's uh, close, I'm telling you. Mm, mm, mm. So she lost her show. Um, the network apparently uh, dis discovered that the similarities during the second season of the show, and they went back and reviewed her first season and discovered what looked like copying then also. It's kind of like Ray here at CRN does with his promos. He listens to my stuff, 
and then he will go and make an exact replica and maybe change just the guest name. Hmm. I just made that up. Anyway, we, they talked to Ann Thornton, and she insisted there was never any issue over the originality of her recipes. She says it's all news to her. She says, I get inspiration from all my heroes. She counts the Barefoot Contest among her biggest influences. And she says, quoting now, uh, Chef Ann Thornton, she says, you take what you learn from them, and then you riff on that. As for lemon squares, there's only so many ways you can make them, so of course there will be similarities. It's chemistry. It's not just cooking, so there are always going to be things that are the same. What do you think? Did she copy or did she not? I don't know. Sounds like she copied. Is it live or is it Memorex? Nobody knows because nobody even knows what the hell Memorex is anymore, right? That's very true. It's digital, so it sounds almost live. (laughs) What else do we have here? Some other good things here today. I can't, uh, so many good things to talk about. Um, Jennifer Aniston in the news, and apparently... And I might want to go to this one. She is going to be getting her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame next week. Now, she's a pretty big star, I guess you would say. She's a lot of motion pictures. I think yep. she's deserving of this. Some people are not. Some people do very little, and they get a star. So we, a star. So we congratulate the lovely Jennifer Aniston. And uh, it's just in time. And you know what, how they do this, don't you? When they no. have a new movie coming out, oh, yes, then the right. production company pays the $10 trillion it costs for a star. You know, the city of... Hollywood charges you like I don't know twenty five thousand dollars I think is it somewhere between fifteen and twenty five thousand dollars must for a have star. went up because I thought at one point it was like uh, over four thousand. Oh please, Tomas, this is back in the uh, this is back in the uh, prehistoric I, times. Oh, okay, a little was behind. When I Art am. LeBeau got his, he had a pony up around fifteen thousand. Oh lord, it's, it, maybe it was seventy five and it's up to fifteen thousand or twenty five anyway. Uh, back in, in June, the news came out that Jennifer Aniston would finally be getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Do the other people, the stars of Friends, have stars on the Walk of Fame? You know, that's something uh, we could look up, too. I don't think so. Not too many. So next Wednesday, February 22nd, Jennifer Aniston will be getting her star, and uh, uh, and uh, the celebs, uh, you know, are going to be having another one adding to their uh to the stars there. You know, you walk down, if you haven't been to Hollywood, you walk there and there's like stars. And you can look at me and go, oh, I know that one. No, I don't know that one. And they put in the star, do they put like a a, a TV set or a microphone if you're a, a, yep. a, a radio guy yep. or a record if you're a recording artist, right? Yes. They put those in there and a motion picture screen if you're a motion picture mm-hmm. celebrity. Right. And then there's my star that just I wrote in there myself. <laughs> <laughs> I got Juan from the neighborhood gang to go down there and spray paint something on the uh, Walk of Fame. Not over anybody's name. I thought it was Julio. I just made that up also. Thank you. The one down by the schoolyard. Oh, yeah. You you same gang? Yeah. That's good. All right, straight up, we continue. Somewhere on sometime on today's show, Michael Reagan will be joining us with the Reagan Report, ladies and gentlemen. So stand by for that as well. When we come back, we'll talk about Simon Cowell. He's, uh, you know, fired a lot of people, changed things around there. Is he going to be on American Idol this year as well? Nope. Gone still? Yep, gone. All right, well, he's got that X Factor show, and there's changes are coming, so stay with us. Right here, the weekend edition of the PM Show, I'm Michael Horn. I still say you could make a good MC.